Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. An interesting functional equation. This is actually a quadratic functional equation. Now, first of all, I thought about a different version of this problem. Let me share with you what I had in mind. f of x squared minus 2 times f of x equals 2, not 2, x squared minus 2x. Then I thought about it and like this would be too easy, right? Let's make it a little bit more ambiguous. Not too much, but a little bit. So here's the equation we have, and we're going to be solving for f. How do we find the functions f that satisfy this equation? I said functions, do you think there is more than one solution, or there's only one solution, or is there any solutions at all, right? Let's go ahead and find out. And obviously, we can define these functions as continuous from r to r, okay? Let me just tell you that. So to be able to solve this problem, we're going to use a little bit of algebra, and that's called completing the square. If I had to abbreviate it, I would probably use CTS, right? Kind of like Jamar Tessie. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do then. Think about f of x as y. So we get y squared minus 4y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, replacing f of x with y is actually helpful it kind of simplifies the process a little bit, right? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add 4 to the left-hand side because that'll make y minus 2 squared. But adding 4 on the right-hand side is also a good thing because that also gives us a perfect square. What if it didn't? Then we would just proceed with what we have, right? Obviously, our goal is to complete the square on at least one side. And we were able to do it on both sides, which is nice. Now, whenever you have an equation like a squared equals b squared, then you have two solutions, a is equal to b or a is equal to negative b. And this comes from the fact that a squared minus b squared is factorable as difference of two squares. Alrighty? Now, let's go ahead and apply this to our situation. If you set these equal to each other directly, y minus 2 becomes x minus 3. And from here, add 2 to both sides you get y equals x minus 1. And now we're going to go with the opposite, and you don't need to negate both sides. By the way, if you negate both sides, like from a squared equals b squared, if you say negative a equals negative b, and a equals b, you're actually talking about the same thing. So this is not going to help. Make sense? So we have to negate one side only, and the opposite of x minus 3 is negative x plus 3. Add 2 to both sides again, you get negative x plus 5. So those are the solutions. So let's go ahead and write them down. So the function that satisfies our equation is one of them is f of x equals x minus 1 and the other one is f of x equals negative x plus 5. The first one was probably easier to find and going back to the original idea that I had, if you think about what the solutions of that equation um, are going to be like, you hopefully realized, yay, f of x equals x satisfies this, right? This is kind of like a really quick solution that you can guess, right? Because if you replace f of x with x, it works, right? But what is the other solution? It's not that straightforward. And I believe it's 1 minus x, right? Go ahead and check it out. But I think it should be 1 minus x. And uh, that's kind of a little harder to see, right? Anyways, so those are going to be the solutions. And let's see how Wolfram Alpha, or if Wolfram Alpha, can solve this problem. All right, and then we'll finish up. All righty. Well, Wolfram Alpha says, this is a pair of intersecting lines. Yes, that's what it is. There are two solutions and they're both linear. And as you can see, Wolfram Alpha is able to solve this functional equation. Good job, Wolfram Alpha. And keep up the good work. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.